Meanwhile, the Paso del Norte port of entry is back open tonight after being shut down for hours earlier today. That's right. This is hundreds of migrants gathered on the Mexican side of the border. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap is live near the U.S.-Mexico border. And Shelby, what exactly happened out there today? Was this some sort of maybe a protest? Yeah, exactly. Andy and Natasia, as you can see, traffic is flowing here behind me on the Paso del Norte bridge, but U.S. Customs and Border Protection does say that around 10 a.m. that group of migrants did gather on the Mexican side of the bridge. Now, the mayor of Juarez says that he received reports that this was a protest, but it was peaceful. But migrants who are on the other side do tell us that they had heard rumors once again that they would be allowed to cross into the U.S. Hundreds of migrants could be seen gathering at the entrance of the Paso del Norte port of entry on the Mexican side, while U.S. Customs and Border Protection agents stood behind concertina wire and barricades on the bridge, blocking traffic for hours. Possibly I wasn't going to make it in time or even make it at all because I stayed in Juarez last night and they closed the bridges today. The group protesting not being allowed to apply for in-person asylum, upset over the migrants killed in the immigration facility fire in Juarez. But a migrant at the bridge said he believed they would be let into the U.S., voicing frustrations yet again over the CBP-1 app. The rumors started to spread on social media, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and it said they were going to lift it, but we don't know if it's official or not. But for now, we're going to continue trying with the application. Some of the migrants left the bridge and could be seen walking towards the border wall. Then in El Paso, migrants could be seen being loaded onto Border Patrol buses along the border highway. But as Border Patrol has continued to say, the border is not open and those subject to Title 42 will be expelled. And those with no legal basis will go through removal proceedings. Right now we're waiting to see if they let us through maybe today or tomorrow. CBP does say that they are continuing to monitor the situation at the bridge here, but they did say that around 1.30 that a crowd started to disperse and they did lift those hardening measures that they had here at the bridge. And of course, you can see it is open this evening. Reporting live near the U.S.-Mexico border, Shelby Cap, KTSM 9 News.